While our, our combined actions will not solve the problem of high gas prices overnight, it will make a difference. If you're finding yourself frustrated with the high cost of gas lately, you're with the majority of Americans. President Biden attempting to make a difference, ordering the release of 50 million barrels of oil from the U.S. Strategic Reserve. But there's a fair amount of debate about how much good that might really do. And as our Aaron Jones will explain to you now, how much of a difference you can expect to see at the pump as a result. Right now, drivers at this Bucky's are paying about $2.80 a gallon, and that's actually about 20 cents cheaper than the state average. Today, we asked local economists what's in store for the weeks ahead. Caitlin Williams is gearing up for a long road trip. My parents live around three hours away, so I'm, I'm going to travel to see them, which they normally help me out whenever I come see them. As she fills up her tank, she says it's something she's especially thankful for this year. It's been a struggle for sure. For professional drivers like Joe Turner on the road every day. Uh, it's, it's hard making a living. It really is. But today, President Biden announced Americans should get some relief. It will take time, but before long, you should see the price of gas drop where you fill up your tank. He's ordered 50 million barrels of oil be released from an emergency stockpile that is maintained by the U.S. Department of Energy. That much fuel is spread out across the country. 50 million gallons is, is not a lot. Yeah, we consume 20 million barrels per day. So basically he's talking about reducing two and a half days worth of supply. Bernard Weinstein, an economist recently retired from SMU's McGuire Energy Institute, says when it comes to significantly lower gas prices, especially around the holidays, don't get your hopes up. It will take weeks to get that oil into the refining and distribution system. And interestingly, right after his announcement today, the price of oil went up $1.75 a barrel, about two and a half percent. So the, the market is pretty much discounting this recent move. And tonight, Weinstein says the good news is there's plenty of supply. Yes, you may be paying more at the pump, but there's more available if that's any compensation. In Melissa, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron, we thank you. At least, honestly, we're not paying these prices here in Texas. Look at that. That's one gas station today in Los Angeles. Regular unleaded there, 529 up to 549 if you like the good stuff. AAA says California's average gas price is the highest in the nation right now on average. Oklahoma, for the record, has the least expensive gas on average. Texas is number two right now, right behind Oklahoma.